All right. Hey, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Feels like Monday, but it's Tuesday. Actually, it feels like Saturday for me because it's my birthday. Yay! As I'm a Gemini and an extreme extrovert, I love to celebrate my birthday, but with it, with us doing this weird whole coronavirus thing, I can't celebrate my birthday the way that I would usually. So I invited some friends to join us today to share some of their work, some of their, some of their talent with us. Um, we're doing a little group show here. We have uh, William, Bill, I'll, call, I'll always call you Will, Bill, but whatever. William Eckert, Riv Caracchio, and Jim Donahue here to, to do some performance performances for you. Um, I want to thank everyone who's been showing up and checking out these videos. It's been so much fun. Um, if you're an artist, you want to get involved, message me. We'll get in touch. We'll get you signed up and ready to go. Um, we have some cool things happening this week and I'm pretty much working on next week. So, um, yeah, reach out. Let's get, let's get you in. Also, I have a birthday fundraiser for the arts council. We are so happy that we've had such great support. We've had some great support from New York City Council on the Arts um, for our general operating, but, and they're also hopefully going to be, well, bring, fingers crossed, going to be giving us some extra funding because of this COVID-19 stuff. But thank, so thank you to all our grant, uh, grantors. Hmm, I think that's the right word. Um, and thank you to all of our donors for supporting us. Um, I would really appreciate it. For my birthday, if you would make a donation today, go to slcartscouncil.org slash give and make a donation. You can also donate right, to, right on our Facebook page. Or um, if you're friends with me, you can go onto my Facebook page and make a donation. I'm 31. I don't care if I say that. 31 times 31 is 961, right? Is that math right? I don't know. But um that's that's my goal for today. So if you guys could make a donation, that'd be awesome. So I'm not going to take too much because I just want to see my friends do awesome things. So here's here's William. I'm gonna unmute you now. I'm ready, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you're good. Um, so uh, right. So this is your birthday episode, right? And it so is. that's what this is all about. And you know, I mean. Uh, I formerly like, you know, my expression of love for people and appreciation is usually known through food. I grew up in an Italian family. So of course I cooked for you, but there was no card. Uh, there was no written sentiment. And though I kind of started to say it earlier, I sort of, you know, wrote a thing just to kind of the idea we talked about birthdays and how people celebrate them. And, you know, like, so for you, of course, it's more of like less of a thank you, uh, more of a less of a birthday thing, more of a thank you. Right. So, I mean, you know, uh, thank you for, you know, loving your community. Uh, thank you for, you know, loving the arts. Uh, thanking you for, um, you know, bringing the two together uh, and making Potsdam in the larger area at large as special as it is. You know, it's you, you, of course, have a lot of people that have come to you because of what you've been doing. If it weren't for you, maybe we wouldn't have this. Uh, hopefully somebody would be there, but you've done this. And so for that, you know, uh, you know, thank you. You know, when people, uh, you know, are celebrated on birthdays and things. It's um, it's a discussion as to like, you know, why we're celebrating. Nobody talks about why we're celebrating that person's birth. Um, but so with you, there can be no question, right? Uh, you're selfless in your contribution to your community around you. Uh, and in fact, you know, beyond that community, because, you know, you've taken your love of the arts to the world beyond Potsdam and St. Lawrence County with this, what you've been doing with the art for art's sake and bringing it to the internet and allowing people, uh, like I have family and friends in New York City and California and that I've known about this, but I've told them about it. So you're expanding what we're doing here to a larger audience. Uh, so again, for that, thank you. Um, you know, I hope that I've said this before when I came on to this last time that I hope that despite what happens with this pandemic, that you keep doing this. Uh, I know a lot of people that I'm speaking really well of this. And so, you know, you've really taken what you've been doing to start with, with the Arts Council and have allowed us to expand it to a larger audience by doing this. And I, I really hope you continue with it. So thank you, Maggie, for uh, taking the life that you were given and making it bigger than just you. So um, I'll now shut up with sentiment and read things. Uh, <laughs> um, people have been talking about having weird dreams during this whole coronavirus thing. Uh, I, I generally have weird dreams anyway, if I remember them. Um, and in fact, I, I guess I write about them more frequently than uh, I usually do. So 
uh, I, I found two separate pieces that I had written and so just combined them recently. There's no titles to these things, just one and two. So I'll, I'll start with this. <clears throat> one, I don't dream of real people anymore. People, has it been so long since I've seen faces, real, elastic, expressive? Your realness confuses, cradles me, asleep. The work has fallen away, speaks the mind. No, it hasn't, Hart replies. It's awake, quiet of familiar words, loud with living. Life, not stifled, but blind bustle. Tick-tock, tick-tock, no time to know thy neighbor, thy neighbor. Locked in doors, in dreams of unreal people who whisper, wake up in the silence of living. Two, I don't speak in full sen tenses anymore. Your long folded paper neck swallows my words like seed in a field laid like creation on wretched land, sprouting syllables, symbols secreting like a celestial mind, like a wire below Venus, beauty performs a balancing act in my head, spilling out on a page, on a pasture, to the sidewalks, to the streets, as my shells, lifeless eyes, watch helpless. Um, so there's that. Uh, <clears throat> more, this is all pandemic writing really, so uh, here's an untitled piece. Hearing voices out my window, frame the movie, moving, pictures, paints, pains, pastels, impressionable impressionist people in streets, children playing, pretending, forgetting, the numbness, the numbers, eroding, families, facades, innocence abstains. I woke in pale sweat under white hot dead stars. I'm lost a vernacular for her body, skin, still, milky, way beyond my reach. Next to me, the moon's glow evaporates the shades between us. My waking world, dreaming in play, performing a sinful dance on cracked, cursed, ground down my teeth as waves of, of, excuse me, of waves of panic wash me like a pandemic sea, immune, isolated, baptized. Did you speak of love on the other side of frosted glass of the window frame. Uh, so I was um, on the Munter Trail and I was hanging in a hammock and I had this point where it just kind of was like in between awake and asleep and felt the feeling where the the wind was just right and the hammock is just thin enough that when the wind blows under you, you can feel it across your back. And at the same time, it's kind of coming over my face and I can inhale sort of like all of the, uh, the, the various like lilacs and, you know, flora that's kind of all around. And I was, I, I just wanted to lie around and actually have a moment's peace, but naturally my mind won't let me have any peace. And so lying down and trying to write on your back in a hammock doesn't work. So I just pulled out my phone and started writing things. One thing leads to the next thing I'm spending 15 minutes writing while I'm lying in a hammock. And uh, this is sort of what came out of that. I was thinking of you fondly today, looking over a place, eyes closed, that wind, righteous as it embarks along my back, carrying that smell, crisp, over me, echoes of your voice, I'm enveloped. Pause, stop reading, writing, close your eyes. Breathe, listen, remember. We sway sometimes together, assuredly apart, as the river before us rippled. So does it now, together, yet apart. One and the same, divided, by us. We tally time by emotion, the heat of our hearts, the beat of our hearts, 100 miles an hour, still. Is it obvious? Am I carnivorous? Are we demanding in our time? Where are you, warbler, songbird, hiding among the leaves of time, calling me? 
and I will now give it to Rivka because that's enough of that. And it's already, we don't want to keep you on here. You should be celebrating your birthday and listening to much wonderful, beautiful things. Thank you so much. Oh, Rivka needs to be unmuted and I need to be muted. Bye now. Hello, I'm with you. Um, hi, thanks, that was so lovely. So, um, hi everyone, hi Maggie, happy birthday. Um, thanks for having me here. You are one of the few people that I would come out of the sunshine and indoors to celebrate. Um, so I'm really glad that we can be on this platform together. Uh, so full disclosure, I saw you earlier today and you gave me and William a tour of um, the property that you're, you and Matt are working on and renovating. And it reminded me of this piece that um, I've written, oh gosh, probably like three years back um, when I was reflecting on a time much earlier when I was first looking for houses to buy with my ex-husband. Um, and it was, it was about what it means to build a home and what it means to find a, a place to rest your soul. And I think Maggie, that um, you give so many people homes and not just in the literal sense as a place to live, but an artistic community, um, a community of friendship and a place where people can, can celebrate their kinship, what it means to be together. So that is not <laughs> this piece that I'm reading but it reminded me of, of where I used to be in looking for that place of, of home, that community. And I wanna thank you so much for, for calling me home here and for, for opening that up to me. So this is called Housing Market or Two Reasons the Housing Market Bubbled and Collapsed in 2008. Reason number one, the purchase of a home like the commitment of a marriage is built on hope and the belief that the future is predictable. It was autumn, the crispness of the fallen leaves sat in the back of our throats as we walked up the concrete steps to the house. The place was small, 900 square feet, one bedroom, one bathroom. We looked up homes within our price range and this was all that popped up. Built in 1926, the realtor droned, one of the few remarkable notes she could share. We twisted our new wedding bands as we looked at the walls. They seemed so close. Were these walls that would hold us in comfort? Would we grow here? The gentle embrace of plunging into a warm pool on a cool night, the stars reflected in a million bursts on the surface of the water. Again, the twisting of wedding bands on fingers. Or would these walls choke us? Would our piercing arguments and barbed words stick in the plaster like arrows? Our tiny living room mistaken for the butts, a practice field, another twist around the finger. This is well within your range, the realtor told us. You could gut it completely, redo every surface and it would still be a deal. Another twist. Visions of one another laughing, plaster dust on our work clothes, paint brushes in our hands, soft summer light filtering in through new windows, twist. The depths of the darkest, coldest New England winter trying to boil water on a Bunsen burner while our belongings sit in boxes, suffocatingly stacked around us, our lives on hold while we wait for appliances to be delivered, things we can't fix, twist. We follow our steps back out the house to our car, to our rented apartment a few miles away. Without speaking, we know this house isn't meant for us. And later, after many more twistings, neither were those rings. Reason number two, creed and overambitious negligent criminal lending practices. <laughs> okay, so that, that was two reasons the housing market bubbled and collapsed in 2008. Such joy on this summer's day. Okay, the next one is even more joyous. Um, so this one, um, do y'all remember when we used to be together uh, in person and we could spy on each other slash watch each other slash eavesdrop on each other and wonder like, who is that person and what are they doing and why are they there? I miss those things. Um, so this piece was developed by 
um, looking at one such person. Uh, this was a, a student on campus and um, it was winter and they were taking off their jacket and I, and I was watching things sort of fall out and them try and keep things together. Um, one of the various ways that people fall apart and then come back together in the winter and uh, imagining their lives and what they were thinking about. So this is called loneliness. There's more than a thousand layers between us. And I don't just mean thermals, long johns, and smart wool. There must be a word for the feeling when your shiny bouquet of balloons accidentally slips through your thumb and forefinger, and you can do nothing but watch it climb into an expressionless blue sky. No, not expressionless, a, a sullen sky where long black branches scratch futilely as trees try to call out to each other, growing in all directions but towards, fortified in a forest, but still all alone. There must be a word for the feeling when in a room of people laughing and looking each other in the eye, all you can do is stare at your hands and winter with her six month stranglehold keeps her layers between us, even in the sunshine, even when in the golden heat of summer, pulling pine needles from our hair and brushing sand from our feet, the desolation hovers over us. There must be a word for the feeling when I pull open my jacket and a raven escapes. I hope you see the flurry of dark wings and the cascade of feathers as I remove my scarf and hat. I hope she wasn't hidden with the flourish of my gloves. I'm whatever the opposite of a magician is, trying to show you my truth, all the sorrowful creatures I've hidden up my sleeves, trying to get you to believe in what's real. Da -da -da. So that's loneliness. <laughs> it feels weird to read it on a summer's day in celebration of your birthday, but um, thank you for giving me this space and thank you for bringing all of these wonderful artists together and for all of the work that you do with the St. Lawrence Arts Council, you deserve to be celebrated today and all of the days. So many blessings to you. Thank you. I'm not crying. <laughs> I just like lost my contact or something. <laughs> awesome. So Jim's gonna play us a tune and then I think we're all, we can all go back into the sunshine. Hello. I want to join everyone in uh, saying, obviously, happy birthday, um, and 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 many, many, many more to come, and um, and also say thank you because you do so much for this community. You do so much for the arts in this community. Uh, what what is happening today is just one small piece of it. And yes, today is a beautiful day, both because the weather is gorgeous and because you are bringing artists together in celebration. And uh, when I think of celebration, I always think of music. Uh, I do not celebrate without music in some capacity. And so I wanted to share some music with you. This is uh, in the event I horrifically mangled this piece. This is supposed to be God only knows. Um, it is very much a work in progress. So happy birthday. And if the audio is 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 bad, just please let me know. I don't want to kill the speakers. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Anyway, thank you and happy, happy birthday. Thank you so much, guys. This has been so fun. <laughs> you guys are the best. Um, I, I don't even have words. Um, thank you so much for everything that you've said and everything that you've done and all of your talents that, that you two bring to our community. And thank you for showing up and thank you for everything. Um, I'm gonna go and have some awesome food and cupcakes. <laughs> and thank you so much for, for being here and um, have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.